Hello, SB 5.0! Woo! Okay, so when I made this slide, I thought that I would be able to get from the Jetsons to anglerfish in five minutes. So I hope that I will be able to do this for you today. So uh, I think we're, we're all here to talk about the future. We all care very much about what the future of synthetic biology is gonna look like. But when we talk about the future, we're really talking about the present. And so I think that the best example of this is the Jetsons, because the Jetsons comes from 1962. What? Is that okay? Okay, I'm gonna talk like this. So in, in 1962, the Jetsons was about the future in 2062. But the future looked a lot like 1962 on stilts, right? You know, the George Jetson was dropping off his two and a half kids uh, to school. He was going to work at the cog factory. His wife was going to the mall and taking all of his money, ha ha ha. And then, so I think the Jetsons, even though we were imagining this very sort of space age future of the 60s, it was very hard to imagine what actually happened and like the real changes that technology would make in our society and how things would change. So this has been talked about a lot by a lot of different people. Um, but I think one of the best ways to describe this is something I saw on Twitter attributed to Cory Doctorow, which is the principle of insufficient weirdness. When we talk about the future, it's we don't really think about how weird it's actually going to be, and we just sort of add technology on top of our present. And so but this is happening a lot in synthetic biology, because we look at things like the Industrial Revolution or the Computer Revolution. We say, that was awesome. We're going to do it with synthetic biology. Synthetic biology is going to be the next revolution. But we just sort of imagine bio cells as factories to another industrial revolution. We look at, we see Moore's Law. We see things changing exponentially. We see things, uh, you know, sequencing changing exponentially and getting cheaper and getting easier to do. Um, but we don't necessarily, uh, and so we think that biology is going to follow exactly the same trajectory. But that's not necessarily true, because biology is going to be really weird. Biology is weird already. There are things like anglerfish that live underwater and have lights on top of their heads to capture other fish. Things are weird in biology, and things are really interesting. And so I think we should not forget how weird and awesome biology is when we try to make a new revolution of synthetic biology. So, yeah, everyone get excited. I want to hear all your other ideas. This is just, I guess, you know, framework, roadmap. I don't really fit on this, but yeah. <laughs> Woo! Woo! <laughs>